Do you love collectathon games like Spyro the Dragon, Banjo Kazooie, and Crash Bandicoot? Well, if you answer yes, I may just have a new game just for you. Check out my review of Scrap Garden coming up next on Mumbles. <laughs> Welcome to Mumbles Videos Game Review, the show where I pick a game, play the game, potentially scream and cry about the game, and then bring you my experience with the game. Guys, on today's episode of Mumbles, we are reviewing Scrap Garden, but before we get into that review, I do have to ask, if you have not already and this is your first time here, please do consider subscribing to the channel, ringing that little notification bell, and dropping a like on the video. Now, let's talk about Scrap Garden. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to read you a little bit of the description so you understand what this game is about. What happened to the city? Why did all the robots stop moving? Did anyone survive except him? Little Rusty Canny has to do all he can to find answers to these questions and try to fix it all. Experience true 3D platform gameplay inspired by genre masterpieces like Donkey Kong, Spyro the Dragon, and Crash Bandicoot. Enjoy beautiful award-winning graphics in an adorable post robotic world with six unique locations for the mysteries and adventure why i gotta give mumbles these big words they know that i can't read this stuff try out diverse gameplay mechanics including tricky puzzles and refreshing mini games challenge mighty bosses and find the right strategy to beat them all discover a true moving story narrated by bobby beto that will take you deep inside the conflict between nature and technology this game at the time of this review is available for xbox playstation pc mac and linux for $9.99 so that pretty much summarizes everything about this game. Now I'm going to tell you my gameplay experience, I'm going to tell you some cons, and then I'll come back and give you the overall score of this review. So cue the gameplay footage, let's jump into the gameplay section. Scrap Garden is a very simple game. Find diamonds and collect diamonds. You need so many diamonds in order to progress through each area, kind of like Spyro the Dragon. This might require you to do some jumping and even jumping on some enemies in order to collect these diamonds. Along each level there are various enemies. Enemies such as spiders and scorpions and rats will all stand in Canny's way and try to prevent him from completing each level. To defeat these enemies though there is one central goal, jump on their heads. It's a very cute game with a very cute story but that's really all there is gameplay wise. There is the occasional puzzle type deal going on and there is some platforming where you have to jump over various things. But for the most part, this is a very simplistic game that doesn't take a lot of knowledge to understand. Now again, it does have a decent story, but that's it. So now we come on to the cons, and the first con is that this game is very simplistic. Again, as I said, there's just a level of simplicity that was there in older games like Banjo-Kazooie and Spyro the Dragon and Crash Bandicoot, where you know you had to collect things in order to get through each level. And the second con is that there's not a lot of real side missions. There are a couple at times, but for the most part, you're just playing this game for the main story and finishing it up. It's that simple. So now I come to the all-important score section where I tell you guys what I give this thing on today's Mumbles View. Scrap Garden is a cute little game. I like the story a lot. And it has decent gameplay mechanics. But with that being said, some people will find this boring as it is an older style of game that doesn't have the same nostalgia as games such as Spyro the Dragon. So with that in mind, on today's episode of Mumbles, because it doesn't have a lot to do in the areas around it, I'm only giving this game a 5 out of 10. But with that being said, if you're looking for a game with a decent story that's cute and fun to play, I definitely recommend that you check out Scrap Garden because it's a fantastic game that deserves to be played. Anyways guys, this has been my review of Scrap Garden. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, and smack all those buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye everyone, take care.